Look at her hiding behind me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a beauty and clothing haul. I was out of town the past weekend. Naturally, when we went to the mall, I went to Sephora and Mac and got a few goodies. And then I also got a little bit of clothing. And for the clothing, I'm actually gonna try it on so you can see what it looks like on. But yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys because you know when you get excited to share stuff with your friends, like you guys are my friends, and I was like, I'm gonna film a haul today and I haven't done one in a while so I'm gonna start with Sephora. So I'll get all the boring stuff out of the way first. I got a few of the Vita Liberata tanning mitts. I got two of these because this is what I use for my self tanner. They're my favorite mitts. And then I also picked up another one of the Buxom Call Me eyeliners. I mentioned this in my May favorites. It's my favorite eyeliner of all time. It is amazing. It's just pitch black. Then the most exciting thing that I got is one of the new Buxom eyeshadow kits. This is the empty box because I actually used it today. I used some of these products today so I could kind of give you a first impression as well. When I saw these laid out on the gondola at Sephora, I was like, okay, they look all right. When I swatched them, I was like, yes, they are so, so pigmented. So here's what the palette looks like. You can either buy them pre-made with colors. They have a few already made or the shadows come in and out so you can actually customize your own and you pick six eyeshadows and it was $40. Naturally, I made my own and I'm obsessed with this palette. I actually use it today. I only use these last two brown colors on my eyes for like an effortless brown matte smoky eye. Whenever I'm trying new eyeshadows, I always like to try the matte colors because matte eyeshadows that aren't too dry, aren't too patchy, or really hard to find. And that's why I use the matte colors on my eyes today to test them out. They are fantastic. They are so buttery, smooth, and creamy, and so, so pigmented. I stuck with a neutral palette because I'm basic, I know. But I wanted something that I could use a lot, and then if I like these, I'll venture out and maybe make one with more colors. They had so many beautiful colors, it was really hard just to pick six. But I picked four matte and two shimmery shades, and I have the little boxes lined out so I can tell you the names of them because you can't like see the names because they're on the box. I don't think the names are on the actual pans. But the first color I got is a dusty rose shade and this one is called Spoiled Sexy. I'm just going to hold this box here because I feel like I'm blinding you guys. But the next shade that is trying not to blind you guys. This shade right here is a peachy matte color. This is called Invite Only. The next is a rose gold, almost like a little bit of copper shimmery color. And this one is called Bold Bling, I think. Yes, bold bling. Then the next one is more of a taupe, and it's a shimmery color, and it's called Mink Magnet. And then the last two matte browns are called Star Treatment and Big Spender. Star Treatment is what I used in my crease. It's a taupey brown, and then Big Spender is more of a toffee brown. But overall, I'm so excited about this. I've kind of been in an eyeshadow funk lately, like... There have been new things that have come out, and I've liked them, but nothing that's, like, replaced my everyday kind of colors. Like, I, I pretty much always use my Anastasia eyeshadows on a daily basis. So I'm super, super excited about this. And if you've tried any of them, let me know down below. And the last thing I got from Sephora is from Becca. Can you guys believe I didn't get any lip products? Oh, my gosh. I can't even believe it till just now. But I got this Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is their new Poured Highlighters. And I got the shade Opal because I love the pressed one. So the difference between this is this is just kind of like, a liquid pressed and poured and it's more of like a cream consistency and it's a light gold I actually have this on my cheekbones today because I wanted to give it a go and when you first get it I was surprised there's a cast over it like there's almost a brown cast and I looked at the box I was like did I get the right color because I thought maybe it was one of their darker shades but it is the right color so if you get this if you get opal just like go through the first little layer with your finger and then the gold will come through. So I paid $38 for this, which I feel like is insane. And I got my Becca Opal Pressed Highlighter that I use a lot. I got that last summer and I don't remember it being almost $40. I feel like it was closer to $30, so I'm not sure if they went up on their prices or I'm just forgetting. But this is .19 ounces of product where the pressed one is I think around 30 ounces. So you get a lot more product with the pressed and I was just surprised at how expensive these were. And I'm not going to lie, it is a beautiful glow. I like that it's a creamy product that dries to a powder. So even if you're oily, you can wear this. And you can see on the cheeks, it just looks glowing and dewy. And I love the way that it looks. And that's why I wanted to try this. Because I swatched it in the store and I swatched it next to the pressed powder opal. It is just gorgeous. So it is pricey. I don't like the price of it. But if it works as good as it looks right now and it holds all day... 
then I'll think it's worth it. So I'll keep you guys updated on this, but so far I think it's beautiful. So then I went to MAC. I really wanted to check out their new matte lipstick collection, and I picked up three of the colors. And I have opened them, but I have not used them yet, so I'm going to be swatching them for you right now. So these are a new collection of matte lipsticks, and I love matte lips, as you can see. I feel like I pretty much always wear matte lipstick. So the first color that I picked up is Whirl, and it's very similar, or supposed to be similar to the Whirl lip liner, which is the lip liner. I have on today with a lipstick and this was my favorite color out of all of the matte lipsticks they had in the line Whirl was my favorite because it's just an everyday kind of color for me so here's what the color looks like it's a muted rosy brown shade and I will swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys and they glide on really creamy it's very similar to what I have on now except for this one is a little bit more brown and right now I'm wearing dose of color stone I know you guys hate me because I always wear it but it is my current favorite lipstick. So I wanted to pick up this because it's something very similar to what I have on right now. The next color I picked up is Stone. And this is a grayish taupe with like a little bit of a brown undertone. And they do have a lip liner called Stone. It's supposed to be the same color. I don't have it, but it's something that I've always been interested in. And these just glide so easily. You can see just how taupe it is compared to Whirl. And this is a color I would wear like with a really smoky eye if I want a kind of a grungy look. This is like a grungy lipstick for me, and I love it for those moods. You're just kind of feeling... I don't know, a little bit grungy, I guess, but this is Stone. And then the last color that I picked up is Antique Velvet. And this is a dark brown shade. And I love brown lips. You can see it's right here. I'm hoping it doesn't pull too warm on camera because it's just a very true brown. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. And oh, I think it is so pretty, especially like with just some lashes or mascara and a bold brown lip. I love that look. So these are the three colors I got. I got Whirl, Stone, and Antique Velvet. So I went a little bit crazy at Lush. There's not one near me, so every time I get to go to one, I stock up because one thing, I love taking baths. Like once or twice a week, I try to take a bath and relax, and it's just very soothing, something that I need. So I got a bunch of bath bombs. Like everything I got pretty much is for the bath. So I'm just going to go through them real quick of what I got. I'm not really going to describe the scents too much because you can't smell them. I'll try though. So if you've never heard of Lush, they are amazing. They're fresh, handmade bath and body products. They have skincare, they have bath, they have hair care, they have tons of stuff. And I get a lot of bath bombs because I love their bath and body products. So with the bath bombs, you put them in the tub and they just like fizz. Some of them do cool little things and they change the water of your bathtub. Like some are yellow and pinks and blues and you can mix them and they have essential oils and fragrance and stuff that's good for your skin. And they're just, oh, they're so relaxing. So the first one that I got is called Honey Bee and uh, it smells so yummy. It's just like a honey and toffee blend and it's supposed to make your skin soft as well. Then I got the Blackberry Bath Bomb. I've never used this one either but my friend said she loved it that was with me and it's very fruity. It's very fresh. It smells kind of like a blueberry blackberry mix to me. Then I got another sex bomb. This is one of my favorite bath bombs that they have. This one and Twilight are my two favorites. I did not get Twilight because they didn't have it, but that one's more of like, I think it has lavender and it's very soothing. This one just makes you feel very sexy. It has rose petals in it. Like you can see the little flowers. So like the little rose petals go in the tub and it just smells very fresh and sexy. Next I got Sakura and this is a florally scent with like a little bit of like a lemony kind of zesty smell and I've never tried this one either but it smells amazing. Next I got Big Blue and oh, this just reminds me of like a vacation or an ocean. I don't know it smells so good so Big Blue. Then I got the Pink Bath Bomb and this one I'm probably most excited about. Oh, it smells so yummy. It smells kind of girly and like candy and I think it's this one. I think it has confetti hearts in it. So when you put it in the tub, I think there's some confetti hearts. I'm pretty sure because I got this because it smelled so good. And there's confetti in it. So this is the pink bath bomb. Then I got a few of the bubble bars, which is like a bubble bath in a bar. And you can break these up and put them into your tub. You can break up the bath bombs as well. But I usually tend to just use the whole bath bomb. But the first one that I got is called... I think this is Amanda Pondo or something like that. I got it because there's like a little rose inside of it and it smells, again, very fresh. I'm a big fresh scent person. Like I want it to be fresh 
or I want it to be like a musky, rosy kind of scent. Then I got the Rose Jam scent. I love their Rose Jam products. They smell amazing. Surprise, surprise, they have rose in it. I love the smell of rose. And it's almost like a, a rose candy kind of scent. And then this is the last bubble bar that I got. I couldn't find it on the website, so I don't know what it's called. But it smells so good. It's, this just smells like a bubble bath to me. Um, if you guys know what it's called, let me know down below. But I couldn't find the name of it. But they have one similar to this called the Comforter. But this is not the Comforter, so... I don't know what this is, but this is the last one that I got. So the last thing I got at Lush is their Ocean Salt Scrub. I've been using this for years, except for this is actually the self-preserving version. They have one that's not, that's just the normal I've used for a long time. But last time I got this, I used a self-preserving one, and I felt like it was exactly the same. It just lasts a lot longer. If you look on Lush products, they have expiration dates. And, like, this one doesn't expire until May 2016, so... And it says it was made on March 10th, 2015. So this lasts over a year. And I felt like the original ones, I could never go through them before they expired. So I feel like this lasts a lot longer. And this is just like the vegan version of the original. And this is just an amazing scrub for the face and the body. I usually focus this only on my body to help get myself tanner off. And it smells amazing. It smells kind of like a margarita mixed with the beach. Oh, it smells so good. And there's like a layer of sea salt on top and you just mix it all in together and it just smells like a vacation at the beach and it's very abrasive which I really like so this is the ocean salt scrub. So moving on to clothing I have three things to show you and they're all from the same place and they're all pairs of jeans. These are from a brand called Seven or Seven for All Mankind. My friend has used their stuff before and she introduced me to them and I'm so mad at her for introducing me to them but then I'm so happy because they're the best pants I have ever tried on in my life. I'm not the type of person to spend money on jeans. Like, I always go to Forever 21 or Target or wherever, and I'll just spend, like, 20 or 30 bucks. Like, when I splurge on jeans, it's usually I'll go to PacSun because they have a line that I love, and they're, like, maybe 40 or 50 bucks. So these were pricey, but they are the best fitting jeans I have ever put on in my life. So first I got a pair of classic denim jeans. These are called the Mid-Rise Ankle Skinny and I wear size 27 because nothing smaller than that really goes over my hips. So these are just normal denim. I'm going to be wearing them so much this summer and as long as I can because they look just so good on and they fit me like a glove. So I got this pair of classic denim because when I invest in a pair of jeans I want something that is practical and those I will wear a ton and I was wearing one of my nicer pairs of jeans when I went to try these on and as soon as I put my other jeans on I was like they just didn't look as good and they don't fit as good and I like high-waisted pants because they just fit my figure better and the ones that I had on were high-waisted but as I walk sometimes they kind of fall down and I hate that because they just don't stay up or you know you bend over and they come down and it's just not a cute look these do not budge and they're so comfy like they're so tight and they look so good but they're so comfortable to wear so these next ones are called the High Waist Ankle Skinny. Again, size 27, and they're just a pair of black jeans. And I wear black jeans a lot. I just love them. I mean, I wear them during summer and winter pretty much all year round with a crop top, or you can wear them with a sweater, with some heels. Love black pants. And then the last ones, oh my gosh, they are so cute. Something I never thought I would really go after. And these are a pair of gray jeans. I feel like you have to be careful with gray jeans because sometimes they can look a little bit emo, a little bit skaterish. And if that's what you're going for, you know, go for it, girl. But that's just not really my style. So I was afraid I wasn't going to like these. I was like, okay, I'll try them. These are probably my favorite out of all of them. And these, again, are the high-waist ankle skinny. I got the ankle skinny ones because I'm very short. I'm 5'2", so the regular ones were just too long. I would have had to get them hemmed. So I have to wear their ankle length. And they just have nothing on the pockets. And one thing that really impressed me about this brand is me and my friend were both trying the jeans on. We have completely different body types. And she has a few pairs of her jeans, and she was like, we have to go in here. And I was like, okay. So the thing that I loved is she bought these gray pants as well, and she also has the black ones. Of course, we're not the same size. She's a few sizes down from me, but she's a very petite woman. I'm a very curvy woman, and they both fit us like a glove, which is amazing to me because her and I, I've been friends with her for a long time, and we've never been able to wear the same brand of jeans or the same style of jeans. Like, if you look in our closets, they're completely different styles. So the fact that we could both wear these, and they just fit us like a glove, and they are so flattering... 
I'm obsessed. So that's everything for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video will be a hair tutorial or a makeup tutorial, so be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.